नमस्कार फ्रेंड्स लेट्स टॉक अबाउट एंथन चीकॉफ हैव यू हर्ड हिज नेम वेल एंथन पैवलोविच चीकॉफ बॉर्न ऑन ट्वेंटी नाइन जनवरी एटीन सिक्सटी एंड डाइड ऑन फिफ्टीन जुलाई नाइनटीन नॉट फोर वॉज अ रशियन प्ले राइट एंड अ शॉर्ट स्टोरी राइटर कंसिडर्ड अमंग द ग्रेट ग्रेटेस्ट राइटर्स ऑफ शॉर्ट फिक्शन इन हिस्ट्री ही डाइड वेरी यंग He died at 44, just like Swami Vivekananda, who died at uh, 39. Uh, he was born in 1863, and he died in 1909. So, uh, <clears throat> in a way, uh, Swami Vivekananda and uh, uh, Chekhov were uh, temp- uh, contemporaries, I would say. His career as a playwright produced uh, four classics. His best short stories are held in high esteem by writers and critics. Chek- Chekhov is often uh, referred to as uh, one of the three seminal figures in the birth of early uh, modernism in uh, the theater world. Chekhov practiced as a medical doctor during most of his uh, literary career. Medicine is my lawful wife, he once said, and literature is my mistress. His famous works include The Sea Girl, Uncle Vanya, Three Sisters. the cherry orchard at dusk the step fatherless ivanov ostrev sakhalin or the island of sakhalin uh, and i particularly like two of his uh, short stories uh, lady with the dog and the bed that was very interesting anton chekhov was born on the feast day of uh, saint anthony the great that is 29 january 1860 in uh, Taganrog a port on sea azores uh, in southern russia he was the third of uh, the six surviving children his father pavel yogorovich uh, chekhov was the son of a former serf and his uh, ukrainian wife was uh, from the village olho vatka and she uh, ran a grocery store he was a director Uh, of the parish choir a devout orthodox christian but a physically abusive father pavel chekhov was seen by some historians as uh, the model of his uh, son's many portrayal uh, portraits of uh, hypocrisy chekhov's mother yev yevgenia was an excellent storyteller who entertained children with uh, tales of her travels with her cloth merchant father all over russia Our talents we got from our father, uh, Chekhov uh, remembered, but our soul uh, from our mother. Uh, Chekhov attended the Greek uh, school in uh, Taganrog and the Taganrog gym, uh, Gymnasium, since uh, renamed as uh, uh, Chekhov uh, Gymnasium, where he was held back for a year at fifteen uh, for failing an uh, ancient Greek examination. He sang at the Greek Orthodox monastery in Taganrog and in his father's choirs. In a letter in 1892, he used uh, the word "suffering" uh, to describe his uh, childhood. In 1876, Chekhov's uh, father was declared bankrupt because he overstretched his finances while building a new house. And having been cheated by a contractor to avoid a debtor's uh, prison, he fled to Moscow, where his two eldest sons. Alexander and Nikolai were attending university. The family lived in poverty in Moscow. Chekhov's uh, mother was uh, physically and emotionally broken by the experience. Chekhov was uh, left behind to sell the family's uh, uh, assets and uh, finish his uh, education. Uh, Chekhov uh, remained in uh, Taganrog uh, for uh, almost three more, uh, more years, boarding with a man who bailed out the family for the price of the house. Uh, he Chekhov had to pay for his own education, which he managed uh, by private uh, uh, tutoring and catching and selling of uh, gold uh, finches, a type of bird, and by selling short sketches to the newspapers, among other jobs. He sent uh, every ruble uh, he he could spare to his family in Moscow, along with uh, humorous letters to cheer them up. Uh, during this time, he read widely the works of. Uh, Cervantes uh, who wrote uh, Don Quixote uh, then he uh, read about uh, Turgenev uh, Goncharov and uh, Schopenhauer 
He also wrote a full-length uh, comic drama, Fatherless. Uh, Chekhov also experienced a series of love affairs, uh, one being with uh, the wife of a teacher. In 1879, he completed his schooling and joined his family in Moscow, having obtained admission to the Moscow State Medical University. He renounced theatre after the reception of The Seagull in 1896, but the play was revived to acclaim uh, in 1898 by Moscow uh, Art Theatre. Moscow Art Theatre subsequently also produced uh, Chekhov's uh, Uncle Vanya and premiered uh, his uh, last two plays, Three Sisters and uh, Cherry Orchard. Chekhov had uh, at first written stories to earn money, but uh, as his uh, artistic ambition grew, he made formal innovations which have uh, influenced the evolution of uh, modern short stories. He assumed the responsibility of the whole family to support them and to pay his uh, tuition fees. He wrote daily short humorous sketches and vignettes of uh, contemporary Russian life. His prodigious uh, output gradually earned him a reputation as a satirical uh, chronicle of uh, Russian street life. By 1882, he was writing for Oskolki, owned by Nikolai Lekin, one of the leading publishers of the time. In 1884, Chekhov uh, qualified as a physician, which he considered his principal profession. And though he made little money from it and treated the poor free of charge, in 1884 and 1885, he found himself coughing blood and in 1886, the attacks worsened but he would not admit his uh, tuberculosis to his family and friends. He continued writing for weekly periodicals, uh, earning enough money to move the family into a progressively better accommodation. In 1886, he was invited to write for one of the most popular papers in St. Petersburg, Novoyo uh, Vremya owned by and edited by <coughs> millionaire magnate Alexei Suvorin, who paid a rate per line double of uh, Lakin's and also allowed Chekhov uh, three times the space. Suvorin became a, a lifelong friend of uh, Chekhov, perhaps uh, uh, his closest. Before long, Chekhov was attracting literary as well as popular attention. The 64-year-old uh, Dmitry Grigorovich, a celebrated Russian uh, writer of the day uh, wrote, to the, uh, wrote to him after reading his uh, short story, The Huntsman, that you have real talent, a talent that uh, places you in the front rank among writers in the new generation. But he went on to say or advise uh, Chekhov to slow down, write less and concentrate uh, more on the literary quality. Chekhov uh, replied that the letter had struck him like a thunderbolt and confessed. I have written my stories the way re uh, reporters write their notes about fires mechanically, half-consciously, uh, caring about nothing about either the reader or myself. The admission may have done Chekhov a disservice since early manuscripts reveal that he often wrote uh, with extreme care, continually revising. Grigorovich's uh, advice nevertheless inspired a, m a more serious uh, artistic ambition in the 26-year-old. In 1888, his uh, short story, At Dusk, won Chekhov the coveted uh, Pushkin Prize for the best literary production distinguished uh, by, uh, artistics, by high artistic worth. In 1887, exhausted from overwork and ill health, Chekhov took a trip to Ukraine, which uh, reawakened him to the beauty of steppe. Steppe means uh, dry, cold grassland. On his return, he began the novella-length uh, short story, The Step, which was uh, eventually published in the Northern Herald. In the narrative, Chekhov evokes a horse carriage journey across the step uh, through the eyes of a young boy sent to live away from home and his companions, a priest and a merchant. The Step has been called the dictionary of uh, Chekhov's uh, poetics. In autumn of 1887, a theatre manager named Gokorsh commissioned uh, Chekhov to write a play. The result being Ivanov written in a fortnight and produced that November, though Chekhov found the experience sickening and painted a comic portrait of the chaotic production in a letter to his brother Alexander, the play was a hit and was praised to Chekhov's uh, bemusement as a work of uh, originality. Friends, uh, although uh, Chekhov did not uh, fully realize uh, it at that time, Chekhov's plays uh, such as The Seagull, 
written in 1895, Uncle Vanya, written in 1897, The Three Sisters, written in 1900, and the Cherry Oxford, written in 1903, served as a revolutionary backbone to what is uh, uh, common sense uh, to the medium of acting to this day. In 1890, uh, he undertook an arduous journey by train, horse-drawn carriage and uh, river steamer to the Russian Far East at, uh, and the uh, Katorga or penal colony or the Sakhalin Island, a large Russian island in the Sea of uh, Okhotsk, north of Japan, where he spent three months interviewing thousands of convicts and settlers uh, uh, for a census. The letters uh, Chekhov wrote uh, during the two and a half month journey to Sakhalin are considered to be among the, his best. In 1892, Chekhov bought a small country state about 40 miles uh, south of Moscow where he lived with his family until 1899. It's nice to be a lord, he joked once, but he looked, but he took his uh, responsibilities as a landlord uh, seriously and soon made himself useful uh, to, to the local uh, peasants. In 1894, he began writing his play, The Seagull, in a lodge uh, he had built in the orchard of Melikovo. The first night of The Seagull at the theatre in St. Petersburg on 17 October 1896 was a fiasco as the play was booed by the audience, forcing uh, Chikov to renouncing the theatre. But the play so impressed the theatre director that he convinced his colleague to direct a new production for the innovative Moscow Art Theatre. This restored Chekhov's interest in playwriting. The Art Theatre commissioned more plays of Chekhov and the following year stage Uncle Vanya which uh, Chekhov had uh, completed in 1896. In March 1897, Chekhov suffered a major hemorrhage of the lungs while on a visit to Moscow. With great difficulty, he was persuaded, persuaded to enter a clinic where the doctors diagnosed tuberculosis on the upper part of his lungs and suggested a change in his lifestyle. After his father's death in 1898, Chekhov bought a plot of land in the outskirts of Yalta and built a villa into which he moved with his mother and sister the following year. Though he planted uh, trees and flowers, kept dogs and tamed uh, cranes, he also received guests such as uh, Leo Tolstoy and Maxim Gorky. In, in Yalta, he completed two more plays for the art theatre. On uh, 25th May 1901, Chekhov married Ol Olga Nipper, quietly owing to his horror of weddings. She was a former protege and sometimes lover of uh, Nemerovich uh, Danchenko, whom he had first met at the rehearsals of The Seagull. Until this time, Chekhov, known as Russia's most uh, elusive literary bachelor, preferred passing relationships and visits to brothels. On May 1904, Chekhov was terminally ill with tuberculosis. Mikhail Chekhov recalled that everyone who saw him secretly thought the end was not far off, but the nearer he was to the end, the less he seemed to realize it. On uh, 3rd June, he set off with Olga with the Germ for the German spa town of uh, Baden-Weiler in the Black Forest from where he wrote jovial letters to his sister Masha describing the food and surroundings and assuring her and his mother that he was getting better. In his last letter, he even complained about the German women, how, about the way uh, German women dressed. His death has become one of the greatest uh, set pieces of literary history. In 1908, his uh, wife Olga wrote his account uh, of her husband's uh, last moments. Anton sat up unusually straight and said loudly and clearly, I'm dying. The doctor calmed him, took a syringe, gave him an injection of camphor and ordered champagne. Anton took a glass uh, full, examined it, smiled at, at me and said, it's a long time since I drank champagne. He drained it and lay quietly on his left side, and I just had time to run to him and lean across to the bed and call to him, but he had stopped breathing and was sleeping peacefully as a child. So that is how he passed away. Chekhov's body was transported to Moscow in a refrigerated railway car meant for oysters, a detail that offended Gorky. Chekhov was uh, buried next to his father at the Novodo Viki Cemetery. So friends, that's, uh, the, that's all about uh, Anton Chekhov and uh, some people do great, uh, great things in a small lifespan. Anton Chekhov uh, was one of them. So goodbye and see you soon.